as I was putting this incense cedar log on the mill, I was thinking about a customer that I'm supposed to be meeting in my warehouse tomorrow. My warehouse is in town, it's where I meet people to sell lumber. I have several people I'm supposed to meet, but this one customer just wants to come in for one two by four. They also want me to cut it in half. I've already spent some time going back and forth with text with this person. I'm going to have to spend some time tomorrow giving them directions. Sometimes people get lost, then take the time to meet them, let them pick out the two by four they want, then they want me to cut it in half for them. After all is said and done, am I actually going to be making any money on that two by four? It's something I think about sometimes. In my situation, are these small customers actually making me any money? It reminds me of a story. It was about a year ago. I had a customer who wanted to come into the warehouse to buy a $10 board. I had some other customers who were supposed to come in that day, so I was going to be there anyway. Those other customers canceled. All I was left with was that one person. I was going to have to take the time to go into the warehouse for just $10, and it would cost me much more than $10 in time to do it. I knew I'd be losing money on this, and I didn't want to do it, but I told her I'd be there, so I showed up. She got her board, and then asked if I had some other size, which I didn't have it in the warehouse, but I knew I had one out here at the mill. I told her it'll be a few days, though, before I have it back here at the warehouse. And again, I think it was just a $10 board, and if I didn't end up with any other customers that day, I'd be taking another trip into the warehouse just for another $10 board. Again, losing money. Well, when she came in a few days later, she brought her husband with her. He started looking at some pine boards I had. I had a whole bunch of one by pine material. I was having a hard time selling it. It was moldy, some of it was starting to warp. He got to looking at it and decided he wanted it all. He ended up buying about $3,000 worth of lumber from me. This is going to be one of those days where it's snowing one minute and then it's sunny the next. One of those bipolar days. Around the same time, another lady wanted to come in for another $10 board. Again, by the time I do all the online communication and actually meet her, the profit margins are going to be very slim. And there's time taken visiting, talking with the customers for a while, which I'm okay with. That's actually an enjoyable part of selling lumber. For some reason, lumber customers just always seem to be pleasant folks. I enjoy taking the time out to visit with them. They like to talk about what they're doing, ask me about what I'm doing. But I also have to pay the bills. This thing wants fuel, it wants sharp blades, it wants an oil change once in a while. I can't just keep working for free. She got the board she wanted, then she started looking at some 2x8s, 2x10s, 2x12s that I had in pine, which I had a little hard time selling because people around here people want Douglas fir and not pine when it comes to that kind of thing. But she said she would take them all, then asked me if I'd be getting any more in soon. I told her, well, if you want some, I'll just cut you more. She ended up buying probably around $2,000 worth of wood from me. What's the moral of these stories? You can't always judge a customer by the size of their initial order. Always treat everyone with kindness and respect, regardless of how much money you think you're going to get from them. A lot of times it will come back to you. And if it doesn't, at least you get to know you're the kind of person who treats people with kindness and respect. This cedar log, on the other hand, we will not be treating with kindness or respect. Instead, we will be disrespecting it in very brutal and savage ways by cutting it into lumber. That is if we don't get snowed out.
Got a few two by sixes out of that small log. Someone asked me if I had any cedar two by sixes so they could make some garden beds. It's getting close to the time of year when people start thinking about garden beds. So I thought I'd make some available. This log was the top of that cedar we pulled out of the canyon with the tractor a few months ago. The one that was such a struggle. Actually, that six foot piece is the very top of it. I would make this one the second to the top piece. Snow has slowed down a little bit. Mount Sawdust here is becoming a snow capped peak. We're supposed to have accumulating snow coming in this afternoon and evening. I have a couple bigger cedar logs that I want to mill up tomorrow. I have an order for some one by tens. But if we don't get too much snow tomorrow, we'll do that. Those logs have more heartwood in them. They should be some really pretty wood. Although one of them might be pecky. You might be able to see what pecky cedar looks like. Before I destroy my microphone in this blizzard, I'm going to shut the camera off and go spend some quality time next to the wood stove. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.